For the most part, Omega Gal's normals are still the same. Pretty much all his old links still work. Crouch Hound House now only knocks down on the second hit. This makes it a little bit stronger. Frustratingly, you can still FADC the first hit only, but it's not plus enough to link anything. In Ultra, you could use a successful sweep FADC as an opportunity to jump out of the corner, but not anymore. You can combo into a focus release, but it doesn't seem to be worth the bar in any context. And of course, you can also combo into super. Crouching Strong is now plus 4 on hit, and links into itself. This is very useful since it does decent damage and keeps both charges. His damage optimal link is low strong, stand strong. It loses down charge, but that's not as important as you would think for Omega Guile. Changes to both down towards roundhouse and flash kick mean that Guile can no longer juggle the former into the latter. But that's okay because towards fierce now has juggle potential. This is very useful since it's fast and requires no charge, and I'll be showing juggles into it throughout the video. Upside down kick close fierce is extremely reliable now, so Guile's ability to punish standing crouch techs is still very strong. Back short is now cancelable, but the cancel won't actually happen until Guile lands again. Even if the cancel activates properly, most things won't combo out of it barring max range counter hit stuff. But you can do a bizarre kind of buffer into flash kick. I'm not sure what this would be useful for, practically speaking. Curiously, the cancel activates even on whiffs, so you can use that to get some extra charging. I guess it lets you confirm back short into super, but I'm not sure you'd be doing back short on block anyway. Another curious thing is he can chain his crouching short into stand strong, stand fierce, or towards fierce, but only if he inputs short plus strong or short plus fierce during the second input. And it works for the close or far versions. This seems to be a reference to the chaining bug he could exploit from SF2 Championship Edition. On to specials. Gal Sonic Boom is pretty much the same. Good start up, great recovery, and the damage is actually a little bit higher. Every Sonic Boom combo you know and love probably still works. But EX Sonic Boom is a completely different beast. It's still a high damage, fast 2 hit boom. But hitting two punches again spends another meter and throws another one. It should combo with the first even if you're not close to the opponent. And you can spend another bar and hit two punches again to throw a third one, which knocks down. Three is the maximum number you can throw. You can actually juggle out of the third one into towards spheres. Or either ultra, since you can be charging while throwing the extra booms. This does quite a lot of damage, but you'd hope so, since it costs so much meter. You can FADC the first EX boom, but I'm not sure how often you'd need to. And the second one has a step forward, so you can use that to extend combos too. Flash kicks are smaller. Higher versions add damage and forward movement, but are noticeably slower than Ultra. The invincibility window has changed somewhat, and because they have less upward movement, they're different to time as anti-airs. On that note, his other anti-airs almost haven't changed at all. All meterless flash kicks are now two hits, though they only have ADC on the first hit. You can still do Dash Ultra 2 stuff, but it's actually considerably weaker now. It's much easier to buffer due to the faster dashes. If you're well spaced, you can get a Flash Kick's first hit only. This allows for a juggle into Towards Fierce, which is stronger than a 2 hit Flash Kick. If you're perfectly spaced, or if the opponent is cornered, you can juggle it into an Ultra 1.
In the corner, you also have the option of using an EX Flash Kick. EX Flash Kick is fully vertical, with good invincibility, fast startup, and great damage. But the lack of horizontal range is unfortunate. As you would expect, non-EX Flash Kicks can no longer FADC on block. You can FADC an EX Flash Kick on block. But on hit, you have to do it instantly and there's no juggle available, so Gal's reversal options aren't too great overall. Gal has two new special moves, and both of them are motion specials. The first is Quarter Circle Back Kick, which shows the motion and animation with Remy's Cold Blue Kick. The manual calls it Strike Eagle. You can time it to go over fireballs. And all versions are pretty safe, do good damage and chip, and break armor. The more you space them, the better they are on block. The EX1 in particular seems to be zero at worst. You don't seem to be able to combo into any of the meterless versions, but the EX1 will combo from close fears. This does decent damage for one bar, and does not require any charge. You can juggle into it too, but this is almost always outclassed by something else. The other special move is Quarter Circle Forward Kick. The manual calls this Blitz Combination. This special does great damage, has great range, and requires no charge. Stronger versions are slower, but have more damage and more range. The light version launches the opponent somewhat high, allowing for a juggle into EX Flash Kick in the corner. As a combo ender, Heavy almost always does the most damage of all Guile's special moves, and it's ideal for almost any combo, though it's too slow to combo from lights. If you FADC the first hit of light or heavy, you can dash in and get a combo. The damage here is absolutely enormous, and gives Gal great 2-bar conversions. And actually, double FADC combos do almost as much damage as the super options, while being much more practical to land. EX Blitz costs 1 bar and has fantastic range and speed, allowing for some very distant combo or punish options. It has struggle potential, and it's almost always optimal in its 1 bar juggles. Because Blitz Combination has such high damage with good conversion options, Gal's main goal in the match is to convert into it in some way. But all versions are unsafe on block, so you do have to confirm into it. Omega Guile Super seems to be the same, except it's stronger and doesn't allow for a juggle into his ultras anymore. And Guile's ultras seem to be unchanged. There are more setups into Ultra 1, and it's still way stronger, so I think it's probably the preferred ultra in matchups where you don't need Ultra 2 as an anti-fireball or as a punish. I really don't know how they did it. They managed to give Gaal two new special moves that have almost zero overlap with his existing two specials. The Cold Blue Kick is a little mediocre, but the Blitz combination, Sonic Boom, and Flash Kick are all extremely useful in a number of different scenarios, and actually seem to make Gaal deeper and more technical than he was in Ultra. It's really simple and fun to mess around with the new specials, and it makes him feel more powerful and versatile. Gaal feels extremely fresh even compared to other Omega characters, and I'd say along with Kami he's probably one of the best characters for players curious about Omega to try out. I'm a bit of a Gal purist, and I thought giving him another special move was heresy, but I have to admit I love playing this character. <laughs>